You're here uh, burning Joanne. Um, what did you think of, of her performance? She seemed a little bit, maybe, maybe not down is, is the right word, but maybe not super excited about her. I think that's just Joanne. I mean, Joanne is very quiet and she's very reflective. Um, but overall, I mean, that was amazing to have, you know, the 10-8 round against a girl who had the huge hype train. You know, you watch her, all of her previous fights, super impressive. And so there was a lot of pressure on Joanne. She put on herself. Uh, I thought it was amazing. And having trained with Joanne uh, coming up into this fight, I knew that she was ready to, to take away that violence. What, what is she? Queen of violence. Queen of violence. Joanne was ready to take away the queen of violence moniker. Sort of where, where are you right now in, in your career as a professional fighter? Uh, I'm in my prime, although you wouldn't know it because I haven't fought since May, but I'm ready to go. I mean, I thought 2018 was going to be my year. January, huge win over Panny Gianzad, won the Invicta title in May, and I was ready to keep that ball rolling. Uh, unfortunately, there's no girls at 135 in Invicta who are willing to fight me. Uh, the only one, Julia Vila, has a broken thumb, and so it's just been months of me sitting. Uh, I'd love to fight for the 145 title that they just made in Invicta. You know, Amanda Nunes is the champ champ. I could be the champ champ. Then we could have a champ 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 fight. Yeah, that would be something. Um, how, how soon would you be looking to do that? Have you talked to Invicta about that, that option? I've been talking to Shannon. I've been talking to Invicta a lot. I think Shannon's trying to find the right right opponent, and I think for her, it's hard because who wants to sign up to fight me? There is not a long list of girls outside of the UFC or even inside the UFC who want to fight Sarah Kaufman. So did, did Amanda Nunes win over Cyborg and her becoming champ champ? Did that motivate you to sort of want to do that as well? Or I actually said maybe five months ago when we didn't have a 35 contender, there was no one at 45 give me that opportunity. Uh, they had Pam and, uh, blanking on her name, Felicia Spencer. Uh, they had Pam and Felicia fight for that title. Uh, it just wasn't right time for me. So um, I wanted this before when DC became the champ champ. Uh, and it didn't pan out, but it could pan out now. Yeah. Um, and how doable is that? Is there a timetable for that? Or how, how close well, I know that Invicta has a fight card uh, February 15th. And then they have another card in March. So if I could get on February and March, I'd be in. I, I'm a fighter who wants to fight all the time. And if there's no one in Invicta who's willing to step up, uh, you know, maybe the UFC 135ers are willing to step up. Yeah, you mentioned just Amanda Nunes. You were saying how you would like to fight the UFC. Is that still a goal to get back to the UFC at some point? I want to be fighting the best in the world. I know that I can, can be the best in the world and that I am the best in the world. But in order to do that, I have to fight them. And it seems the UFC is always in need of talent, uh, especially in the, in the female divisions. Um, you're a champ. You've had a big name. You're a veteran. You've been around for a while. Um, when do you think you'll make that step in and get back to the UFC? You know, what do you think is the point? You know, I think the biggest thing is I need to be finishing fights. I finished my fight in May. Uh, it's been a progression. My last fight in the UFC with Valentina, split decision, but it wasn't a fiery performance. I need that fire, and I have that fire, and I've proven that, but I need to do it all the time. So I don't care if it takes me one fight, two fights, three more fights, you know, get a finish in the first round in every single fight. There's no reason that Mick Maynard doesn't pick me up. So 20, 2019 maybe we see you back in the UFC, you think this year? 2019 is my year. For sure. Amanda Nunes, she needs a challenger. The bantamweight division in 2018 had 12 fights in 12 months. Unacceptable. We need more. And the reason is we need more people who are at 35 are going to come in, bring fire, bring passion, and make the fans excited. And I am that person. Watching her fight, do you think that there are any goals that you can explore in her game? Oh, she's so good right now. It's so awesome. I'm. I've always been a fan. I've always wanted to fight her. Since we fought in Strike Force, that's a fight. We were supposed to fight for five days at one point. We had a match uh, contract, and then she had a hurt hand. Um, that's a fight that I want. I think she looks awesome, but I also know that I'm awesome. There's been a lot of talk that with this win over Cyborg, she's become sort of the, the GOAT. Do you think, do you think that's, that's true? You have to say that. 
She's beat Ronda. She beat Cyborg. You know, Valentina twice. Even if people think they're close fights, it doesn't matter. She has all these wins. You know, Raquel Pennington, I think that Amanda has really developed herself and taken away the fact that she has one good round. Now she's a five-round fighter, and that's exciting for the women's division for people to see how amazing she is. And I think you have to give her GOAT status right now until I beat her.